up everyone here with the king himself the <laughs> side pressure king Todd Zilla what an impressive match today after seeing round one I was a little nervous I thought it was going to be very one-sided with the gorilla Corey West dominated and then Todd Zilla showed up to the match so uh, give us a little what was going on there bro what happened that first round and then first match we ended up wrist to wrist and I couldn't slow him down I, I mean even wrist to wrist I thought I'd stop him, but that's a lot of power. I mean, I went straight down and I couldn't even put the brakes on him. So what was the adjustments you made for round two? Because I just grip higher. Okay. I grip higher and threw it more on his hand. Okay. You know? Round two was just so impressive, brother. I, I seen you come out and now I see the, the switch from Todd Hutchings to Todd Zilla <laughs> came out in round two. That was the most official thing I've ever seen. And I got to admit, for the small guys over here, that was very inspiring, <laughs> brother. That was a true David versus Goliath match right there. So um, we got another big match coming up next weekend that we're going to be throwing in uh, Virginia. We got uh, Paul Lynn. He's going to be going against the GOAT, John Brazil, which I know you have a lot of experience pulling with. So uh, I just kind of wanted to get your predictions on that. Amalia, you never go against John. Paul, Paul will certainly win a match. Um, does he win three? Winning three is hard on John. Winning one, winning one is a colossal feat. When I won one, it took me years to win the second one. Okay. Um, I would, I think, uh, I, I'll give you 90-10 odds. Paul wins one. It's 50-50, Paul wins two, and it's 10 to 90, Paul wins three. Okay, is there any kind of uh, advice that you could give Paul right now, since you do have some experience pulling John? So tell John exactly how to pull Paul. Yeah. Okay, shut him down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Paul, uh, I don't know, after seeing John pull Dimitri, yeah. where John just goes sideways with, with his hand bent back, I don't know I don't know what to counsel anymore, right? Because okay. John's like the hand control master, and, and, now, and he's willing to pull through his elbow. So that's a dangerous job. <laughs> now, do you think it's a better chance for uh, Paul to bring it to the strap, or going to keep it just with the hands? So I love all matches in the straps. Um, you know, I've only pulled Paul a few times. I don't. I actually don't know his style or his pulling style. For me, I would throw it in the straps as soon as I could. Um, but yeah, but I recommend all matches go to straps. <laughs> gotcha. All right, so we hear it from here himself. He's uh, telling Paul what to do, and uh, yeah, better be prepared for next week, Paul, because you're going against the goat, man, and he ain't the goat for no reason. <laughs> That's true. He eats a lot of goats. Thank you very much, guys.